Peace family, it's your girl Garuji Chastity and I am so excited to be here. As you can see, we got a little setup going on, you know what I'm saying? A little shebang shebang, ready to give you those ooh ah ah sensations, okay? I'm getting back to my roots, right? The origins of Garuji Chastity was just me talking and expressing myself. I used to call those Wild Heart Wednesdays where I would just take time to write down all of the topics that interest me. And what I would do is I would pick a topic, hit record, and let spirit take over. You know what I'm saying? And it was, was hot. My best ideogram videos came from this level of expression. Well, the past year, 2021, I have been doing the work to specify what it is that I do, get really clear on, you know, what I am looking to create in the world, how I want to show up, and, you know, get clear on what I'm up to in life. Now that I'm aware of that, I went ahead and put those parameters in place, set that foundation. Now it's time to get back to the roots. You feel me? So you can expect new videos from the kid on Wednesdays and Fridays, and they're going to be hot. Now look, this the catch, this the catch. You gonna be able to watch most of my videos on YouTube, right? But if it's something where it's real juicy, I'm gonna keep it funky with you. If it's real juicy, but we giving out knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? We giving you all three elements of creation. You are gonna have to get that video on Patreon, which means you might as well become a patron. Therefore, you can have access to the exclusive content that I drop on YouTube, but the even more exclusive, exclusive content that I'm going to drop on Patreon, you dig? Hey, then let's get into it, family. It's simple as that, simple as that. So today, I want to talk about the coach who saved my life. You feel me? And you know, we got the notes right here. It's real official. Y'all all know how excited I am just for this setup and to be able to express myself like this, okay? So I wanna talk about the coach who saved my life. And the reason why this topic is important because I was thinking to myself, I said self, myself said, mm -hmm. I said, bruh, I had seen somebody post on Facebook the way somebody else's program had just really changed their life. And I thought to myself, I was like, man, that's fire. If somebody was able to change my life in such a way, I would yell that shit from the mountaintop, like, what's up? I wonder why my students don't do that. And I said, ooh, catch yourself before you wreck yourself, big baby. I said, you don't, you ain't even done that for your own coach who changed your life. So that's what we're here to do. I am here to express and really share how Garuji Chastity is a thing to this capacity because you would be a fool to think, and I would be a fool to let you think that all of this sauce happened <laughs> just because of me. That's that's a big cap. That's not. So that's why today I want to talk about the coach who saved my life. And so, boom, 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 boom. let me stop being so mysterious. My coach's name is Brittany Parks. I call her Coach B. Also, FGM, which stands for Fairy Godmother, because sis is like top tier. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? You know that? That, that uh, iPhone emoji? My sister Sarah been using it. It's just mm, mm, perfection. Coach B is with it. Let me, I'm going to share what we got. I got three. Three major like aha moments that coach be allowed me to have and so I want to take a moment to just share that with you guys because I feel like it's really important to note that everybody receives help a coach has a coach and not everybody knows what's going on that's exactly why I got a coach I got tired of free falling I knew that you know spiritual life was for me which caused me to believe in gravitate towards things that was a little unorthodox and so when it came to the western way of living i jumped off of that hamster wheel but once i jumped off i was free falling for about six to seven years and i feel like that's that part that nobody really expresses that you know when you choose to not go the traditional route the untraditional route is not paid and so all of those people are really paving the way for us to express our spirituality in such a way because 
without people who are willing to explore, get curious, and share their experiences, nobody would really have a blueprint of how to do this because let's be honest, none of us know what the fuck is going on, okay? Simple as that. So boom, let me get into the three reasons I wanted to share on how Coach B saved my life. Brittany Parks, I love you girl. Okay, so first things first, I finally had support. I had somebody to show me or to tell me like, hey, this is how this works. Or, you know, I get that you're trying to do this and I get your goal, but maybe you should approach it from this way. Coach B's perspective alone was support. And one of the things that I learned in 2021 through Coach B, through Coach Joy, Joycelyn Ford, who, who um, is a personal trainer, whose personal brand is Body For Tough. These two coaches taught me that it's okay to pay for help. It's okay to pay for assistance. It's okay to pay for support because the longer I wait around trying to find that naturally in my environment, from my family, from my friends, you know, I, I'm doing myself a disservice because they trying to bust a move too. So why not recruit somebody whose job it is to help me, right? And so finally having support and no longer free falling was the first thing that coach really gave me. And the, the way that she gave me that was through our one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. We did 60 minute coaching sessions for three months, twice a month. And she started me out using Trello and the way that she had the Trello board set up was just mind blowing. Before I got Coach B as a coach, I was I interviewed two coaches at the time because I had never done this before and it was the first time that I was really about to invest in myself in such a way. And so there were certain moments where I was a little bit hesitant and choosing the right coach, I was. And so let me tell you how that happened. When I chose Coach B as my coach, I interviewed her, but I knew that I was super hyped and she was just like a no offense coach, she a chill little white girl, but she just so cute and precious, but sis is chill. Uh, coach B is just calm and quirky, calm and cute, you know what I'm saying? Like, sis, she, she low key, she a good time, but she low key, and I was like, man, I don't know if that's gonna match with all of this hype energy that I have. But, on the flip side of her being low key, when I was interviewing her, or well, when we were vetting each other, sis could really break down how she could help me. It was the first time that I could see it. I remember her showing me my Trello board and I was trying to take the snapshot from the image of my mind and I tried to duplicate it. Like, yo, what was that? I needed them steps because that shit was so helpful. And all she had showed me was the snapshot, of it, right? So now we, we getting stuck between a rock and a hard place. That's what happened when I interview, interviewed Coach B. When I interviewed the other coach, she had all the hype. She was a black woman, had all the hype. She was in there, she was right there with me. But then when she showed me how her program was going to hey, work. When I started my healing journey, I dreamed of going to a spiritual school where I could choose courses to learn from, kind of like college. So boom, I created just that. Join me at the Abundant Living Guru Cool on Patreon, where you can study spiritual knowledge at your own pace. Oh, and did I mention, it's one-on-one -on -one learning with me. So head to GuruJiChastity.com and click the Abundant Living Guru Cool button and start learning your spiritual knowledge today. Hey, hey, today, hey, hey, today, yo, yo. She had all of the nice fluffy words had the nice presentation, but she couldn't exactly show me how. So I was like, whoa, this is a rock and a hard place. I have one coach here who doesn't hit like my hype um, mirroring, right? She's not as hype as me, but her program looked legit. I can see exactly how she gonna help me. She got it broken down. Where this other coach, she matched my hype, but she had a lot of fluff words and just, big ideas about how she was gonna help me, but I didn't really feel like she was telling me how. So I was like, you know what? Let's run both. Well, I ran both the next week. Coach B already had me in class. Two to three weeks later, and the, with the other coach, we had not really bust the moves. So I was like, hey, I gotta roll with Coach B. And ever since then, life-changing decisions, okay? Life-changing. 
Next one, Coach B helped me create my dream reality. Y'all, no cap. I was doing discovery calls. When I first opened up my coaching program to the public, one of the steps that I had to undergo was doing coaching calls. I still do them now, but they aren't as daunting as they were, of course, when I first started. Y'all, I remember being on a coaching call with like a 50-year-old lady. I think she lived in North Carolina on a farm. First of all, the lady had my ideal way of living. She was living it. But then I was like, oh shit, the things coach having me doing is really working. Like, this lady is older than me. At the end of this discovery call, it's like, okay, where I send my money to? How, how I send my money? Like, what I do? So, mind you, I recorded this entire discovery call with the lady before she became my student. And I'm recording it so I can play it back and send it to coach so she can give me feedback. But when I get off of the call, I'm like blown away with joy, with so much gratitude because my greatest struggle is this. I knew that this was how I can help people, my perspective and my communication, but communication more so. I have a unique ability to communicate which allows new information to penetrate through somebody's aura and their psyche, right? That's not tangible. Words ain't here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I struggled so hard with trying to express to someone that I can change your life through communication and you should hire me as your coach because I felt like I was doubting my own abilities because I couldn't make what I could do tangible, right? And so at this point, going through coaches program taught me how to make my own program as a coach. So now I have created my program. I'm doing it. When I get off of the call with a 58 year old, I think she might, I think she was like 55, 58. She was, she was older y'all. But let me not say 58 because that's like 60. Ooh, excuse me sis, if you out there and you, you see this. Charge it to my head, not my heart. Okay, but we get to the end of the coaching call. Now I am hyperventilating with a joy. And I'm talking to coach because I know I'm finna send this to her and I know she's gonna hear it. And I am bawling my eyes out because I'm just taking a back like, yo, no cap. I just got on this discovery call. I was low key a little fucking nervous, but I just stuck to the script, did what I was supposed to do, and it worked. It worked, y'all. It worked. And she was willing to pay me the full price point for my program, like it worked. I still remember this day like it was yesterday. And at this time, I had given up the life that I was living. I was living at my grandmother's house in my little cousin's bedroom. They weren't there. And so I was staying in a bedroom, a little kid room with bunk beds. And I was sitting in this basketball chair crying. Cause I'm like, yo, this lady done done it again. She just showed me how to create a life and this shit work. This stuff is hidden. Like she's really teaching me to believe in myself, how to ask for what I'm worth and to know that I'm deserving of that value. You know what I'm saying? So I was, again, blown away. Just blown away, right? And the last thing that coach helped me do is what I just kind of explained a little bit is that she taught me how to create my own coaching program. And that was the biggest obstacle to my self-doubt is because I, for one, I felt very, not confident about telling somebody, hey, I can help you change your life. For one, I hadn't had a, a, a tried and true process that I was taking somebody through to get actual results. And then I couldn't show you or I couldn't express that to you. And by going through a program with Coach B, she reconciled all of those for me. She allowed me to see how it's not just expertise. Nobody just wants a coach who just read every book and has every answer, right? Because what good is that? We don't have just our first chakra. We don't have just the knowledge, right? We take it even further and we have our feelings, right? We have the experience of it. So she helped me see that my experience through my challenges of communicating, through listening, right? She taught me to see how those things are valuable. My experience is just as valuable as my expertise. And if I bank and trust on my experience, then I can use that to connect with people and show them how I'm the coach for them. And then she taught me how to bring all of these magical, wonderful ideas about how to help people 
out of my head and into real life and to make them tangible. And then here's the kicker. Coach is into human design. She got me into human design. And the reason why I enjoy human design is because it goes along with your birth chart, which is the mathematical equation of you. And it shows you how to operate in this reality. Come to find out, me and Coach are both projectors. And I was like, there was something to it where as I was maneuvering through all of these changes that I was going through by working with her, that no matter what, she was always where I felt the most safe, right? Whenever I felt misunderstood out in my regular life or I felt like things weren't going right in my business, I would pick up messenger, voice memo coach, like, look, this was going on or I don't understand. And never once did that lady shy away from being of support to me. And so you can really see how Coach B truly saved my life. In fact, I wouldn't have been able to move to Florida. Um, I would still be living in Nashville, settling for the life that I was always leading, probably miserable and unhappy, right? But she helped me believe in myself and take that leap of faith and taught me that like, Yo, you are someone to be proud of, yo. You are beautiful, you are magical. We've had moments where we've cried together, yo. And it's now feeling less of like, I'm paying for support, where it's like, that's my family. That's literally my fairy godmother. She's like a big sister, a big, a, a mother figure to me, right? She she has truly, truly impacted and helped my, helped my life. And so Coach B, when you're watching this, I hope you know that I love you. And the work that you're doing out here in the world is amazing. And Guruji Chastity, the way these people see it, the way that they have grown to accept and love me would not be possible without you. And so, thank you. For real, yo, thank you for everything, Coach B. Like, I, I probably tell you every other time I talk to you, how much I love you and, and how much I'm grateful for you, but no cap, yo. This would not be possible without you. And on that note, I gotta go take a cry real quick because I done got myself excited. Whew. 12 seconds later. Thank y'all for holding that space with me. I have to cry that out real quick. I don't like to bulldoze through my emotions. You know what I'm saying? And just thinking about the beauty and the power of the union that I got with Coach B just got me worked up, okay? And so we had to just be with it for a minute. Look, I hope you guys enjoyed that commercial, right? It was really exciting, really fun, and I hope you are ready to check out that information that we just dropped. You know what I'm saying? All right, so boom. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode of Guruji Chastity, and I talked about the coach who saved my life, Brittany Parks, my coach, who continues to be my coach and my mentor. And so, if you want to figure out how you want to connect with me or Coach B, right, check out the show notes. Our show notes today include all of Coach B's contact information, right? And there might be an opportunity for a follow-up interview. You know what I'm saying? I might get Coach B on the show, come hang out with us, and tell us about her experience and her journey as a coach, and also working with me. And then, woo, last, last but not least, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, you are going to have an opportunity to get joint coaching from me and Coach B. We are opening up our platforms to work together to help you. We're going to be doing some master classes together. And if you enjoy the master classes and you like, yo, I love getting knowledge from them just in a class setting. I want to take it even deeper and I want to have both of them as my coaches one on one. You're going to have joint coaching opportunities coming your way. OK, coming your way. So until next time, family, I love you. Peace out. Yeah.